entire California school board resigned after they were caught on video mocking parents and claiming they only want schools reopened so they can smoke pot. Hi, welcome to the Dum Dum News Channel. I'm your host, Dum Dum. Before we get started, please make sure you like, share, subscribe, leave your comments below, share with a friend, help me out. Okay, so in this article that we're covering, I'm going to read the article and then we're going to watch some video. It says, Lisa Brizadine, president of the Oakley Union Elementary School District, resigned on Friday. Other board members also resigned. Oakley Union Elementary School Board conducted an online meeting via WebEx on Wednesday afternoon so parents could discuss distance learning. Board members reportedly thought parents had not joined on the call and proceeded to make several disparaging comments. One claimed that parents wanted schools reopened because teachers functioned as babysitters for their children. Another implied that parents wanted to go back to smoking marijuana without the distraction of their children at home. All right, guys, let's watch this video and we'll discuss. And they just recently switched. So their tech department set it up to where uh, people that want to submit a public comment call in and have to leave a message. And so, and the message will cut you off at three minutes. So it's like, hi, my name is Greg Hetrick. I, I live at, you know, 2221 Delta Road, Knights in California. And I wish to speak on blah, 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 blah. And they say it and da, 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 da. And if, if three minutes comes, it just cuts them off mid-sentence and you're done. And it's like, and then that gets, uh, that gets saved and they, they send it in. I love that. Right? Like, I was just saying that's a good idea. When I was president. Great. We need that. I'm, I'm all for it, but the question is, will our IT department be able to break away from what so they're like, doing? Yeah, we won't make any announcement that we're switching anything until we've worked it out and made sure that we can do it and uh, all that. So, yeah. I'll, I'll, Kelly and I will work on that. Because that means you would literally have to pull someone from IT during that day and they would have to just sit there and, and wait for people to call and record. And my understanding is it's set up like you just leave a message and it, but it will only allow you to leave a three minute message from start to finish. Okay. And so it just goes and then it just, you know, it, it captures it and then, and then goes. Oh boy. So the first thing they're discussing is changing the system around. So when someone from the public wants to call in and talk or say something, that the system, one, it only le lets you leave a message, and two, it only lets you leave a three-minute message. Besides that, they're talking about not letting in, in anyone know until it's ready to go, and then they're just going to implement it. And all the people agree that that's just the greatest thing. So they don't even want their public constituents to let them have conversations with them in real time. They only want them to let the public leave a three-minute message. You know what, hey, Kim, I was just thinking, Kim, I was just thinking right now, just to encourage you. Yeah. People, it's easy to hide behind a screen and put it oh, yeah. now. But when you're face-to-face -face with people, it's a whole different, it's a whole different ball game. You know. Well, what's funny is that uh, she's friends with who I went to Idol Tower, and the, it was posted on my social media. Someone else posted it. It's like whatever. I wasn't doing anything bad. I could. I really. I honestly don't care about that part. But you know what? Are we alone? Yeah. <laughs> if you're gonna call me out, I'm gonna <laughs> you up. <laughs> Sorry, that's just me. <laughs> You know, they forget that there's real people on the other side of those those letters that they're writing. Yes. We're real community members. We have or have known kids that have gone to these schools. Right. We have a vested interest in this process, and they don't know what we right. do behind the scenes. And it's really unfortunate exactly. that they want to pick on us because right. they want their babysitters back. Right. 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 That's how Now they just went on a rant about how saying something online versus saying it to someone's face is something different. And apparently one of the board members had some kind of words or issues with a person. And she said that she would F her up. And they all agree that their job is very difficult and people don't understand what goes on behind the scenes and that most people just want a babysitter. Okay, so first off, look, 
most Americans, like 80 or 90 percent, don't like their jobs. I understand that. And it's easy to say, just go out and get another job if you don't like it. But you're the school board. So you're probably getting paid big bucks to be on that board. And then this is the way you're talking about people that you're supposed to serve. And people say that they get into education because they want to help the kids out and stuff. And okay, yeah, you're not called the babysitter, but if someone leaves their kid with you for eight hours or whatever it is, you're babysitting their kid, regardless of what you want to believe or not. You are taking care of that kid. So I don't really get what they're going on about. And just to be cursing at the people they're supposed to be serving, it's all wrong to me. I agree. And it's fine. It's just, it, I, and, I just need to get no, up. And no, I, 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 I totally hear that because uh, my brother had a, a delivery. Yeah. My brother had a delivery service for medical marijuana. The high clientele were parents with their kids in school. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. And so when you got when you got your kids at home, no more Friday, no more yes, my dog. Fuck. Uh oh. Laura Lanier, just FYI, you guys have the meeting. Oh, we have the meeting open to the public right now. Uh uh. That's what Lori just said. The moment they realize that the meeting is open to the public and it is being watched and recorded. In my opinion, this is a group of people who have come into power. They feel like they have a new buddy-buddy system. Otherwise, they probably would never be friends in real life altogether. But the fact that they're cursing and if you have to say, are we alone or like the big guy was actually lowering his voice to a whisper like, they couldn't hear him. Someone started a change.org position asking for them to resign or be recalled. And yeah, they went ahead and resigned on their own. Total failures on this part. Guys, if you don't want to be working in the public sector or for the public or you don't like your job, go out and do something else. Life is too short. And I know it's hard. It's hard everywhere we go, but that's the way life is. So deal with it. Don't be a crud head like these people and do what's right. And what do you guys think? Leave your comments below. For the Dum Dum News channel, I'm Dum Dum. Why you do that, bro?